Hi everybody, this is Crystal. I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. So today I'm going to show you how to make this um, lapgan. So a lapgan is just kind of a smaller version of an afghan. Now you, of course, can, I'll give you the multiple to stitch and you can make it any size that you want. Full blown afghan, you can use this stitch for anything that you like, scarves, whatever. Um, but it is a very pretty stitch and it's very easy and it's great for beginners. So this is just a two row repeat, as you can see. Simple, but yet pretty. I like it a lot. So mine measures approximately 36 inches long and 48 inches wide, which is the appropriate size for a lapgan. Now remember, you can adjust your chain length and make it however big that you want. All right, that's what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way and we'll get started. All right, I wanna ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you like this. And don't forget to turn on all notifications so you never miss out on any of my videos. Okay, for this project, I use Red Heart Super Saber Jumbo. This is a jumbo ball, um, stripes. There are 482 yards. Now for my size, measuring about um, 36 inches wide and about 48 inches tall, um, I used about 1,200 yards, so about not quite three of these. Um, because there's 482 yards per ball. Um, the color I'm using is called Sutherland Stripe. And it is a 100% acrylic yarn. You don't have to use this yarn. It's a medium weight number four. You don't have to use this yarn. You don't even have to use this weight. Any weight will work. Uh, any yarn will work. It's really just depending on how big of a project you want um, in the base chain that size that you chain. But this is what I use for mine. And then I used an eye which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And that is what I would recommend with a four weight yarn. If you're gonna use a three weight, I'd probably drop down to a five millimeter. Um, if you wanna use a bulky, I'd probably go up to a six millimeter. Those are just my recommendations. All right, so this stitch is done in a multiple of any even number. So any even number of stitches will work. Now your base chain is the width of your lapgan or whatever you're making. It will be the width of it. So how, however long you want your project to be, that is your base chain. So for mine, I started out with a base chain of 110 stitches. Now I'm gonna show you on a smaller scale. So once you get your 110 stitches done, what we're going to do is do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So remember, we don't count this one on our hook here. So one, two, go ahead and single crochet into that second stitch. Like that. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that. All right, once you make it to the end of the row, you should have a total of 109 stitches if you're following along with me. So now we're gonna start row two. So rows two and three are the repeat rows for the whole pattern. So easy two row repeat. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do a chain of one. So this chain one does not count as anything and we're going to turn our work. So let's just pretend like it's not even there. And we're going to start off by putting two double crochets right here into this very first stitch. There's one and two. Now we're going to skip one and put two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two. And we're going to repeat that. We're going to skip one and put two doubles into the next stitch. Skip one, two doubles into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row. Skip one, two doubles into the next stitch. Just like that. All right, I'm coming to the end. I have two stitches left. I'm just gonna skip one and put two double crochets in the remaining stitch. 
Now when you count, you should have a total of 110 stitches across. Now we're going to start row three. Row three will be the last row of the repeat. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. Chain one does not count as anything. Now we're going to work one single crochet into this very first stitch. And we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch across until we get to our last two stitches of our row. like that okay I'm coming to the end of row three and I have two stitches here that remain I'm going to do a single crochet decrease over the last two stitches because we need our single crochet row to be an odd number in order for the double crochet row to work out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the next stitch and draw up a loop and then we're going to go into the last stitch and draw up a loop and we'll have three loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and go through all three and now we'll have 109 stitches again now it's just a repeat of rows two and three so for row four i'm going to repeat row two i'm going to chain one and turn my work and i'm going to put two double crochets right here into the very first stitch, just like we did on row two. So there's one, and there's two. I'm going to skip one and put two doubles into the next. Skip one, two doubles into the next. Repeat this pattern, same as row two, skip one, two doubles, until we get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end here and I have two stitches left. So I'm just gonna skip one and two doubles into the last stitch, just like we did on row two. And that'll end row four. And we will have 110 stitches again, just like we did on row two. So for row five, we're gonna repeat row three again. So that's the single crochet row. So that's where we chain one and turn our work. And we start off by putting one single crochet into the very first stitch and one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the last two stitches of our row. Okay, when you get to the end, remember this is row five and we're just repeating what we did on row three. You get to the last two stitches here and we're gonna do a single crochet decrease over the last two. So we go into the next one and draw up a loop and then into the last one, draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through all three loops and now we're gonna have 109 stitches. So it's just, we're just gonna keep repeating rows two and three. On the double crochet rows, you will always have 110 stitches or an even number if you're doing a different size than me. And when you're doing the single crochet rows, if you're following off along with me, you'll have 109 stitches every row or an odd number of stitches if you're doing um, a different size than me. So you repeat rows two and three until you get at the width that you, or the, the height, I'm sorry, that you want it to be. Now I did mine um, until it reached about 48 inches. Um, so because that's about lapgan size is uh, 36 wide and about 40 inches tall but of course you know highly adjustable to your liking now um i do want to point out as you're moving along you'll be moving along quickly because this is a very nice uh quick stitch if you do notice that it starts to cock a little bit it it really doesn't much but i did notice it just a bit all you gotta do is kind of just give it a little bit of a tug and it straightens it up Another thing that I will straighten it up if you want to do that, and I'm not even saying it's going to do that on you. It really did, it didn't do it hardly any on my big blanket, but when I did this sample, I just kind of noticed it cocking just a little bit. But anyways, a row of or a nice border of single crochet will take care of that if you have that problem. I didn't have the problem on on my big blanket, but I was working up another sample um, just a bit ago. I don't even know. Maybe it's just my eyes thinking that it's cocking. 
that could be it. Maybe my eyes are going bad. But anyways, uh, as, for, as far as borders go, a uh, nice uh, single crochet. I would do one single crochet in every stitch and put like three um, or four single crochets in each of the corner. One single crochet all the way down um, in every stitch. E or evenly space out your single crochets. Would make a nice, clean um, border on this blanket. But of course, you can do any type of border that you want. A nice double crochet border um a pico border depending on how fancy you want to get it a shell border just stuff like that but if if i'm not going to border mine but if i was i would do a simple single crochet border i think that with the lines being clean i think the single crochet border would make it the cleanest but i think it looks fine just the way it is so that's it i hope that you enjoyed my tutorial Please don't forget to like and subscribe like I mentioned in the beginning and hit that notification bell. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram or if you make this or anything else. Uh, doesn't even have to be crochet, knitted, anything. I love to look at anything from the fiber arts community, yarn hauls, anything like that. Hashtag me, bag of day crochet. I like to look at it. So until next time, everybody, stay safe and have a good day. Bye, guys.